first of all, let's make sure everybody understands what we're talking about when we say wholesale a deal. There's more than one way to wholesale a deal. So what's your definition of wholesaling and what's that look like? So for most people, they think a wholesaling is getting a property under contract from a seller and assigning that contract and collecting an assignment fee. So for us buying bank owned properties, and we do a few of those, don't get me wrong, we do a few of those years, we get some of those referrals, but primarily what we do with auction properties or bank owned or HUD properties, we have to buy them, take them down and then resell them. So it's a, it's a wholesale, it's just, we actually have to take down the property. So we do need the funds to be able to purchase it, whether we use transactional funding, private lending, as you're great at, at raising money, we do as, as well. We love the raising money game and using private lending for that. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of the same deal as it is with the assignment of contract. It's just, we actually take it down. So we show ownership at one point. So what's the advantage of actually buying the house instead of getting it under contract and then uh, collecting an assignment fee? I guess, you know, in certain states, there's been a crackdown. I think Tennessee and Illinois had a crackdown of wholesalers where they're making them be licensed realtors. So I think, you know, this kind of negates that because you're actually purchasing the property, right? You're showing you have the vested interest, not just the vested interest or equitable interest. You actually purchased it and took it down. So you have the right to do what you want to it afterwards and nothing can come back. So from a legal standpoint, we're probably the safest and best. I am licensed in Pennsylvania. I probably will get licensed in Florida and occasionally we'll do some of those assignment deals. But for the most part, we just take them down resell them. And in this market, as you know, wholetailing has been unbelievable. Just getting the property in decent enough shape to get be mortgageable, reselling it, not you know sitting on it for six, seven months while the rehab's getting done, while the showings are going on. It's much quicker. You know, you're in and out in 30 days at the most, and you're hopefully selling it in 30 to 45 days in this market right now. too. So it's been much quicker and better. Right. So the reason you actually buy the house and, uh, and, and, and take ownership of it is that way, regardless of where you're doing business, you don't have to worry about there being issues with just collecting an assignment fee. Am I hearing you right on that? Absolutely. I mean, that's, we would prefer to do it without having to have all the cash and buy it, but the banks don't allow you. So if you buy a property from the bank, you can't just assign it to another buyer. You must take it down in your name and you can do things. We've done things in trust, you know, trust are great. But the problem with that is unless it's an investor, that's a buyer investor, that's trust in you and understands what you're doing, that you know what you're doing. They usually don't want to buy your trust or if you put it in LLC and sell them that LLC, they don't usually want to buy it. And I totally understand that they're going to want to put it in their own. So, you know, we've run into that in the past with Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae had that anti flipping. You couldn't sell for more than 20% of what you paid for. I think it was 90 days after the deed was recorded, not when you purchased, but when the deed was recorded. So um, with those properties, we either had to do something off the HUD or we just had to wait those 90 days and then just sell it to them at that point, which has other risks. But, you know, it's overall, if you're making profits, I'm all right with that. There you go. So when you're buying the houses in today's market, um, are you primarily selling them to other real estate investors at a profit or are you selling them to uh, people that are actually going to move in and own the home themselves and live in it? In this market, we've done more to end buyers. The people are going to live in there than in the past. Typically we sell it to other investors for the most part, but in this market, the way it's been and the kind of properties that we targeted, we've kind of pivoted and gone to um, less of the train wreck properties, you know, that need everything and more to the ones that just need a little bit, you know, to get it back in mortgageable and then resell. It. So we've kind of pivoted a little bit just in this market to try to take advantage of what's there, go after the low lying fruit rather than everything else. I got you. I know it's going to depend on the market. I mean, you're in all kinds of markets all over the nation, but what kind of profits are you seeing in today's market doing the business the way you do it? So our wholesale profits are generally around $12,000 per deal. And that's your standard wholesale. If we're wholetailing it, we're around 32. And you know, the full scale fix and flip, we're in anywhere from the probably close to your number, that's 67,000. But we've had plenty that have been 80, 100, 120. So especially in this market over the past year. So yeah. it's, it's been nice. And, but those are your full scale rehabs. And those were the home runs, obviously. They're not, they're not your average. <laughs> Oh,